I live in Toronto and work as a TV journalist. In both my personal life and my professional career, I see issues that make me genuinely concerned about the world we live in. Problems of anti-Semitism, racism, hate and intolerance, violence against women increasing in many communities around the world. My research is pretty far ranging and I'm alarmed by what I see. Issues of bigotry and intolerance in Canada are unhappily nothing new. Did you know that Canadian women didn't have the right to vote until 1918? Or that Aboriginal Canadians couldn't vote for Prime Minister till 1960? Or that my grandparents, very own generation till the 1950s, grew up on Toronto beaches and in Ontario's cottage country, reading signs that read, no Jews, no dogs. The world hasn't changed very much at all. Just take a look at current events. From North Korea, to Iran, the fear of a madman starting a nuclear war is all too real. Religious minorities around the world, including the Jews of Tunisia, Coptic Christians in Egypt, or the Baha'i of Iran fear for their cultures and for their lives. Syrians are being slaughtered and the world looks the other way. Women brave acid attacks and worse just to have access to education. Gay men and women face persecution and death as they fight for equal rights. Here at home, hatred manifests itself in a more subtle way, like the creeping intolerance of events like Israel Apartheid Week. You might say universities have become a hotbed of hatred, with education taking a backseat to propaganda. For the past couple of summers, supporters of Iran's cruel regime have staged anti-Israel protests right here on the grounds of Queen's Park, with permission from provincial authorities. It's not only the Jewish community that was targeted. Iranian Canadians who immigrated to Canada are frightened to see the brutality they thought they'd escaped has followed them. Fortunately, organizations like Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center for Holocaust Studies exist to combat hate. It's a nonprofit human rights advocacy organization committed to countering racism and anti Semitism and to promoting the principles of tolerance, social justice, and Canadian democratic values. Grounded in the lessons of the Holocaust and building on the history of genocide. I am not a Jewish James Bond, and I am not a Don Quixote, and I am not between. I am only a survivor who pays with a dedicated work for the privilege to remain alive. Friends of Simon Wiesenthal has set up a world-class program. It offers workshops to law enforcement officials, community organizations and leaders, and students to teach them the importance of respect for diversity, for democracy, and freedom. To accomplish this on a daily basis, the organization needs support. That's why your commitment to joining is so critical. It's only with your help that the Centre can ensure that the voices of hate are prevented from destroying the freedom and democracy that so many Canadians have fought so hard for. You know, in my job, I found that people often assume someone else will take care of the problems that we face. Whether it's a question of hate, discrimination, or bullying, there's a willingness to believe in an unknown they who will swoop in like a superhero to solve these serious issues and save society. But we are all they, and it is up to us to confront these concerns before the problems are so deeply rooted that they become too difficult to weed out. We are they, and the time is now.